All right, what we're going to show you is how to install a stroker crank. Now, what happens with a lot of bearing failures is that this race on the bearing does not fit in there, doesn't just slide right in like this. I can't put it in. And what a lot of guys are doing is then hammering on the top of the crank to push it down in. And I can show you in a minute here exactly what happens to your bearing. If you can get a good close-up of that, you can see it squeezes the bearings outward and makes the bearing too loose, and it's only a matter of time before you end up with a failure. So this is actually the proper way to put these things in. And what we've got is a propane torch and some Maxell Blastaway Home Office Electronics Cleaner, which might be out. What we're going to do first is we're going to heat up the case. We're just going to warm it up to a couple of hundred degrees, so we're not melting it, we're not trying to get it red hot. What the old guys used to do is they would take their case and they would put it in the oven at 150 degrees, and then they would put the cranks in the freezer, and eventually they, the two would fit together when they assemble it. Because this is going to expand, and the crank is going to contract when we freeze it. So, here's the end of the crank. And what we're going to do is make that bearing really cold. You see how cold it is? Then the crank slides right in perfect. That's how you do it. Thanks.